Alrighty. Try to do a video with the handheld. I've got everything wired now. It looks like a serious mess. Basically it is. But I've got everything wired so that it'll connect to the board. The receiver is connected, of course, to one of the was it an MSP port or whatever. Um, I made it so that when you lift up on the board, everything will go up to a certain height so you can get underneath. Now the wires I've got, I think about as short as I possibly can. Um, without getting too complicated. The receiver is going to basically go back here underneath this carbon bar, which I've got wrapped with tape. Um, so it doesn't short. I have an LED that runs off of the power of the ESC at 3.3 that's going to go underneath and towards the back, which will illuminate the propeller as it spins, which will be interesting. The board has enough power, enough amps. The board is a 3 amp, three amp uh, max as far as the uh, power. So these little servos, um, <laughs> no problem. Um, so I basically have hooked everything to the board. Instead of running separate powers, you know, separate. It's this this board particular board has five volt uh, powers at each corner for a quad, which is pretty cool. It works pretty good. And so there's a lot of five volt outlets now. Um, the GPS runs at 3.3, and that's these connectors here. And I got them separated, the little rubber band thing there. These right here, these two are the green and the white are for the walk snail unit. That's the uh, transmit receive. <coughs> this right here is the power for the walk snail. It comes directly off the balance plug, and it's right at 5 volts. I don't really want to use this connector because it's huge, but I have to have a way to get the, the canopy off. And the way the bat and the battery basically, you know, the main battery plugs in here, goes to the ESC, which runs underneath the flight controller. Now I've got this flight controller, so it can lift up, and I've got the main power going do a slot, but that blue piece of tape there is going to have to be removed. And I'm literally going to sew the red power line down into the slot because it's silicone and no glue will hold it. And the tape doesn't hold it. So it needs to literally be sewn in there with some needle and thread, which I figure would be good. And that, that's to make space between the bottom of the board. Even though I have the, the blue grommets, um, I still want enough space because that's basically where all of the wires are going to go. A lot of them are going to feed like the wire for this servo. It's connected to the board, very thin, goes down and through here underneath the wing to this servo. I did a tunnel, as you uh, in my previous video showed, uh, for the power and the transmit received for the GPS, which is embedded. The compass is uh, 5 volts and it's running off of a 5 volt, that's right there. The strobe unit, which is right here, is the yellow line, which is the uh, PWM for the uh, receiver. And I got it coming out of this plug here. There's one separate line that's this one here is channel 2, and it does nothing. So I might pull it from the plug. So basically it's just uh, Elevons, which is two servos. Um, one circuit for the uh, um, strobe unit and throttle, and that's it. And so, uh, but like I said, everything can be fed um, underneath the board. And basically it's, it's gonna be done that way in order to keep 
it from hitting the top of the hatch for the walk snow unit. Now I just placed it in there. I haven't I haven't mounted anything, but this right here, this is the um, the plug for. I wish I had a uh, the male part for this plug that I could just plug it in and use that, but. I can't remember the name. There's a pitch and all that for these connectors, so that's what the DuPonts are for. So hopefully it'll all fit. I think it will because this is pretty much flush with the inside of the canopy, but the battery does go here, right here. So and it seems like I've got worked it all to fit, but I had to leave this loose. This runs under the board too once the board is mounted because that um, it has to float in order to plug the battery in. But I'm going to have either a magnet or maybe some Velcro or these new command strip Velcros, which are pretty cool. Those will work. So I'm getting there. And next is going to be, of course, mounting the camera to the upper inside of the canopy. There's already magnets on it. And um, I've got it relieved for the spar in the back because this thing needs a spar. And then I have a, a round circle of screen that's going to go on top of that to make it look better, plus provide cooling. And this thing will just be glued into the top. There's no other way to do it. It's press fit, but you've got to keep something to keep it from shifting. So I'll probably put some glue in each corner where the screw holes go. And then once I get that connector done, it's... Uh, I'm going to hook it all up and keep my fingers crossed that everything will communicate because sometimes things don't communicate. It's just the way it is. There are hardware incompatibilities. So I did have the GPS working at one time with another board, so I know it works. The compass works. I pulled it from another project. The receiver is ready to go. It works. I've got it all configured. Um, and the only other thing I got was or did was I wanted to pull the... The covering off of the fins back here because I wanted to I figured later that it was too much weight but it doesn't want to come off so I'm gonna leave it now at least on that oh gosh yeah I just wanted to paint them flat black I'm gonna end up probably painting the entire plane flat black and just masking this off uh, just to give it a little bit of covering maybe not I don't know from the bottom what I did was I have a, there's a, the, the, the speed controller has a, has a separate line that you can use for an LED on an arm on a, on a quad. And um, there's, there's nothing I can use it for at all. It's 3.3. I could have run the GPS off it, but I decided to run that off the board. Um, so I'm going to run an, a red LED right here which is 3.3, and it's going to go backwards towards the propeller here, and as the propeller spins, the LED light will hit the propeller because it's clear, and it will make it look like a red propeller when it flies, but only at night, of course, if I was to fly it at night or in dusk. And so I just got to wire that, and I got to wire the walk snail, and then start configuring, and then fly it. That's it.